We need more powerful consoles, as it looks like Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are not enough anymore. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I would like to talk about current gen consoles upgrades, just like we had PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X, I think that we need uh, current gen consoles upgrades. Well, call it PlayStation 5 Pro and Xbox uh, Series X Pro, whatever. I think we need these more powerful consoles sooner rather than later, right? Now, here's the thing. I know that many people will say, but mods, developers are not really even taking full advantage of these consoles and stuff. And that's partly true, but the problem is that even these next-gen uh, console features are not really going to solve all developers' problems, right? I mean, yes, it will improve a number of things, but I don't think we're talking about uh, improvements big enough to compensate for things that we're actually seeing right now. And what we're actually seeing right now are games running at 30 frames per second and again, without any performance options. So obviously I'm talking again about Plague Tales, uh, Requiem and Gotham Knights, but I think that there's probably going to be more games later on. Um, not sure if you noticed, but Resident Evil for Remake uh, demo which runs in Unreal Engine 4 that looks to be 30 frames per second 4k 30 I think uh, Silent Hill I think as well so I think that what's going to happen later on in the generation the more demanding these games going to become the more the more better looking these games going to become the more demanding uh, the, these applications going to be on the hardware, right? So yes, some of these next-gen features will help here and there, but generally speaking, uh, look at that Unreal Engine demo uh, that we've seen last year, right? I mean, it was really, it wasn't 4K, it was like 1440p, 13 frames per second. I know it wasn't really fully optimized, but even good optimization not going to really change some of the hardware limitations. And yes, Two years after the launch of these consoles, you know, these limitations are starting to show. And I know that like Plague Tale and um, Gotham Knights are not really well optimized games too, because if you look at the performance of these games on PC, it's just terrible. I mean, that's just a fact. But, you know, maybe they just haven't had enough time to optimize better and stuff. Maybe we will get some extra perform performance modes later on after release. I mean, that happened with a couple of games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla received a 60 frames per second mode for Xbox Series S. Um, same with Cyberpunk 2077, that game, you know, actually evolved over time. Uh, Dying Light 2 this year, it was a, a mess, technical mess. I mean, good game, but technical mess. It didn't really run well or looked well. And number of months later, we received not only performance mode that can take you up to like 90 frames per second, but also a very stable balanced mode, which offers like 14 for TP 60 frames per second, and it looks and runs great. So all I'm saying that like, yes, the more developers will spend time optimizing for these consoles, the, the better results they will get. But like I said, there are still number of op op there are still number of limitations that cannot be um, overcome. And like I said, as these games will become more um, well demanding, because developers will want to push for better graphics, and that's actually what's happening. What's happening? Look at Plague Tale. I think like I think that's a great example. It may not be a full open world, but it looks fantastic. It's a very good looking game, and I think that. That graphics actually um, is one of the reasons why it's so demanding, really, right? And I get it, like, obviously the rats are <laughs> tanks the performance even on a very powerful PCs, but it is what it is. So I think that, like, two years from now, it would be actually cool to get these 
consoles because like um, I, I get it like num people will say oh mods but I don't need it I can play at 30 frames per second and that's and that's fine I'm not advocating for dropping support for these current for current consoles right all I'm saying is that hey there is a market where uh, people will want to get better graphics better performance all the ray tracing uh, options maybe I mean if you actually looking, if you look at what's going on in PC world right now, and we haven't really seen uh, everything just yet because AMD still haven't released their GPUs, um, so like RDNA three should offer a huge boost in performance as well because Nvidia already uh, showed that, so AMD will be no worse, right? I think these RDNA three chips are going to bring uh, a huge boost in performance, so. Obviously, that will translate into better graphics, uh, more options, more graphic settings, um, better ray tracing, better performance, higher resolutions, etc., etc. So I think that moving forward, these games on consoles will need that as well. And I get it, and I understand that first-party developers will really take that extra step because they will have bigger budget we will probably have more time to optimize for these consoles so uh, first party games will probably take full advantage of these consoles but there's plenty of games from independent studios or like generally speaking multi-platform um, publishers that developers will not really do that i mean yes there are some developers that always take full advantage of these consoles like Rockstar or like um, well Call of Duty looks fantastic on these consoles so yes there is there is this thing that if developers will spend time optimizing for these games you know the you know results may be great but like I said not all developers have time money budget resources not every developer has got like hundreds of uh, people to work on these optimizations and that kind of stuff, right? Like some of these, you know, biggest uh, developers uh, do. So I think, um, yeah, these more powerful consoles would be like a cool option to have for people that, like me, um, I'm actually thinking about upgrading my PC right now. And even though my PC is not, is not really that bad, like, yes, it's a laptop, but it's still RTX 3060, decent GPU. It should run all games, no problem, at 1440p. And, the, and here's the zong, because it doesn't, right? The latest games, and well, they just badly optimize for PC as well. So for me, it's either, well, upgrading to another more powerful PC or sticking to 30 frames per second or uh, much lower resolutions on PC, who knows, right? So it's not a really a, ba a good look and these uh, more powerful consoles would allow uh, a lot of future games not only run better but uh, offer more options i mean more ray tracing in some of these games would be available would be possible on these consoles or uh, ray tracing at 60 frames per second that's an option as well so you know i spoke so many times before about what would be benefits of, of such consoles and i'm not really going to be even talking about specs because that's not the point of this video um uh, i kind of uh, mentioned what we can actually expect like two or three years from now uh, when it comes to these consoles like potential console upgrades but uh yeah i think that we do need these upgrades and uh also remember back in the days console generations uh would last five six years max and they were and these lines were also a lot of times blur blurred because you would get like dreamcast a bit later xbox a little bit uh, uh sorry dreamcast a bit earlier xbox a little bit long uh, later so even these generations you would you would get different specs across the generation so yeah there would be a lot plenty of consoles to choose from and I mean, to be, to be honest with you, this generation is kind of boring because like Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, they are almost identical when it comes to specs. Like, yes, two teraflops difference, a little bit more powerful CPU and faster memory on the Xbox Series X, but that doesn't really make much of a difference. You know, a little bit higher resolutions here and there, a little bit better performance here and there. 
nothing really to talk about, to be honest with you. And yeah, uh, these more powerful console would make things more interesting and also just better for gamers, in my opinion. The more, I mean, hey, listen, uh, options are always good. So yeah, I think that we do need these consoles. Games will become even more demanding. If you look at games like even Starfield, not only it looks, doesn't necessarily look uh, next gen, but all these systems, uh, when it comes to the actual RPG mechanics and the huge open world, we're talking about different planets and that kind of stuff, that's going to be a performance hog as well. So, um, you know, my worry is that this game may be actually 30 frames per second on Xbox Series X as well. I'm not joking, really, because it's a massive game and who knows, like Todd Howard, I was of an opinion before that, yeah, no, that's not going to happen, it must be 60, but you know what? I'm not so sure anymore, so that's why I've got, um, I'm actually getting ready for my PC upgrade. I mean, not the laptop, my old PC. I mean, pretty much building a new PC really, but uh, I may actually wait until maybe next year, until that these new gen uh, graphics card uh, come out. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, guys, that's the video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.